Hi everyone, I'm Brioni Faith and today I'm going to take you through a little introduction and tutorial on how to industrial dance. First of all, I'm going to be really honest with you. I'm not the greatest industrial dancer you're ever going to see. And there's a reason why I ask amazing dancers from around the world to be part of my music videos. So, but I do have a few pointers that will hopefully help get you started. I love industrial dance because of the clean, almost mechanical look of it. And also how dancers are able to stylize it and make it their own. Every year, my label, Get On Down Records, holds a dance video project and remix competition for one of my releases. It's a great way for industrial dancers to be part of my music videos, and it's also a chance for me to share the amazing talent that's out there. A lot of times I've had people comment in the videos and ask, where can I learn this style of dance? So, here we are. I'm going to run through a little routine for you and break it down into something really slow so that you can practice this and get faster with it and then eventually start adding your own movements to it as well. So let's get started with a few of the basics. So the hip movements with industrial dance are a lot about bending the knees and the hips move, but it's quite straight. It's not sort of like this. It's very much a kind of bending, lunging into it. So let's just practice the hip movements for a few counts, just half time. And it's just like the hips moving side to side, but the whole leg's kind of staying straight. get incorporated every few beats or as you feel. There's a lot of different styles of kicks that you might like to try and you can make it kind of as big or as small as you like. With our little routine we're just going to make it a little small kick just to get the idea of bringing that into it as well. So with the kicks it's about shifting your weight, kind of getting ready for the kick and then making it part of a smooth movement as well. movements are very straight and very clean. The idea is to emphasize the beat and to make it kind of this mechanical sort of look. Also keeping your back straight with all the hip movements, arm movements. For the best effect you want to be really quite upright and straight through that. Hand rotation are when basically your wrists rotate around each other. So you'll often see industrial dancers may do this side to side. This is a fairly common move and you know it can be incorporated into a lot of different things. Hand rotation. So arm rotations is another one, kind of at the elbow. So it's a little bit like mechanical clockwork sort of move. And again, just remembering straight arms and rotate back to that straight position is really good. Accentuating the movement and giving it real sort of force is another really important element of industrial dance. You know, it's like being convincing with your moves. So if you're giving it that little bit of force behind it, you know, that gives it a lot of expression and just adds to the energy of it. Okay, so for our routine, we're gonna start with it basically in quarter time and just the first four movements to get a bit of a feel for that. Then we'll go half time, 
and we'll add the next four movements. So to show you the moves we're going to be doing for the first four, we're going to be starting in this position, leaning this way, weight on this leg, and we're going to go one, two, three, weight on this leg, and four. So that's one, two, three, arm up, this one down here, and four. Weight on this leg, kick out in front. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's do it with the music. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, let's go half time. Are you ready? Yeah, you are. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I feel like you're getting good at this. All right. So now we're gonna bring in the other four moves that'll make the count of eight, and that'll give us kind of like a whole sequence and a routine. So coming from here, we're in this position. It is one, two, three, four. Okay, let's do that again a couple of times. So we've got it. We're in this position and we're going one, two, three, four. So the weight's on this side for the first two, this side for the second two. Okay, let's go through that again. So we're here and it's one, two, three, four. You're ready to go through the whole eight in quarter time, so it's nice and slow. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, Eight. Okay, you ready for half time? I think you are. once you've got this sort of basic routine and then you can start to change it up you know bring in some arm rotations this sort of thing you know find other moves you like and go from there so well done 
So keep practicing, have fun. Thank you so much for joining me and let me know in the comments if this has been helpful to you or it's just been a bit of weird entertainment. That's okay too. So thanks again for joining me and I'll see you real soon and maybe even see you in my next dance video. Who knows? All right, take care and a bientôt. <laughs> I noticed that I'm not actually doing what I was doing as slowly. Like I said, I'm not the best, but hey. Six, <laughs> seven, eight. So there's next four moves because we finish here. Is that right? <laughs> I'm getting a few Blah, blah, blah.